Well, it's match number 22 and we're here back at pitch side. The equation is simple for Quetta Gladiators. If they win today, they will be the second team to make it to the playoffs. Karachi Kings have to win pretty much everything from here onwards. So it's an important game for them and we'll have to see how they fare today. Pressure is going to be on them as well. Quetta, with uh, all the momentum that they've got, I'm sure they're going to bring their A game as well. I've been joined by Sana Mir and Dominic Koch on uh, the pitch side studio. Sana, uh, Quetta Gladiators, they've got a chance to really secure their spot today. Absolutely, and uh, they have been a team that's really balanced, uh, five specialist bowlers, five specialist batters, and that has been their strength because they are, they are mainly rely, relying on the specialist. They do have all-rounders, but overall the balance looks really good. What about Karachi Kings' balance then, uh, Koki? It's, it's, been a, it's been a struggle for them in this HPL PSL. Yeah, they've lost early wickets whenever they've batted first. You've seen that, and they've got such a good batting lineup. Obviously, it's not been the best of seasons so far for the captain, Shah Masood. We know that Tim Seifert is an aggressive player. James Vince, we haven't seen the best of him. Um, so they need to get runs on the board, or when they're chasing, they need to make sure they get off to a, a good start. Ultimately, it's not must win because they can still stay in, in the competition even if they lose today. But it's about now trying to get a bit of that word that we don't like to use, momentum, towards the end of this competition. They have to win today simply. Especially when you've got competition in the form of Islamabad, United and Peshawar, Zalmi doing well on the other end. It's an important game for Karachi Kings. Earlier today though, they did start off well by winning the toss and they uh, elected to field first. Shan Masood decided to field first today. We've seen the kind of conditions uh, that are here in Pindi Cricket Ground. They've been rather batting friendly, but uh, it's about whether they're making changes and really executing their plans today. Right, so ha let's have a look at Quera Gladiators then. First up, uh, Sana, a couple of changes for them. They brought in uh, Mohammad Amir back and Hasnain, the two seamers are back for them. Yes, they've really spiced up their bowling, uh, leaving out Sohail Khan and uh, Mohammad Wasim Jr. And as we talk about their batting, the top order looks really good with uh, Jason Roy and Saud Shakil, especially at the top, and uh, the youngster, Khwaja Nape. There's so much talk about him. So overall, Amir will be definitely taking on his old team, uh, Karachi Kings. So it's going to be a good contest. Should be a good contest. When you look at Karachi Kings, the good news for them, uh, Koki, is that Kyron Pollard is back. Yeah, he replaces uh, Leas Deploy at number four. And he's been probably one of the reasons why they've kept themselves in games at times because of his heroics, not just with the bat, but in the field as well. They need more from that top order. It's simple. Uh, I said it just a minute ago, Sean Massoud, Tim Seifert, James Vince, Pollard, Shoaib Malik. They've got to make sure that, that they actually perform a little bit better. And then with the ball, I think it's a good decision for them to come out in a day game here, have a ball first, to see what they're chasing down. Their last game, they couldn't chase down what was against Multan, 190. They were 169 for seven. But on this sort of pitch, in these sort of conditions, start well with the ball and then look to chase whatever that is set. Last time these two teams met, it was an absolute thriller. Sherfield Rutherford really won it for them in the end. And there was a moment in the game when Zahid Mahmood was taking those wickets. He got two wickets, but uh, Karachi Kings made 165. And they were making some early inroads in, in the middle order as well. But then Sherfield Rutherford, you know, you look at uh, the kind of power hitters we have in the HPL PSL, the Rockman Powers, all the Caribbean flair that they bring in. Such an important position that is, with such an important role that is, uh, when you look at uh, the side. And for him to just win it the way he did, um, Sana, for them, it was a close one in the end. But then when you've got somebody like him in, in your lineup, you can always bank on him. Um, and the good thing is that uh, the match went till the end and uh, soaking up the pressure, being able to execute your skills under pressure, that gives not um, uh, confidence not only to you, but to everyone around you. So I think he is a very, very important player uh, for, uh, for them. And overall, when, when the team is doing well, when the environment is well, you, you see uh, something extra coming out of each player. And that's what we are seeing from Quetta Gladiator especially, that every player wants to win it for the team. What, what was good about Quetta in that, that chase? Because it was only a chase of 166. They got themselves in a little bit of trouble through some good bowling fr from Karachi, which we hadn't really seen too much of. Uh, Jason Roy started off well with that half century. And we're talking about Shafane Rutherford, but also you could talk about Akil Hussain as well, the way that he came in just to relieve a little bit of pressure. He got 22 and got Shafane back on strike. Um, 
Karachi need to bowl better at the end. I know I keep going on about it. It's about sensibly assessing how to bowl at the end, what is the best options for me to take as a bowler at the end, and both sides on these sort of wickets have got to make sure that they execute their plans a little bit better than we've seen already here. Especially in these conditions, but when you have somebody like Pollard, I think even if the ground was bigger, Sana, I think he would be able to clear that. I mean, that's the kind of power that he has. We've seen that this ground might be too small for him. Absolutely. If you have muscles like uh, Pollard, you don't need to look at the boundaries too much. He has been brilliant. He has been really severe on the spinners. Um, and that would be a big thing because Quetta is banking on their spinners. They've got three spinners there. So how the captain's going to use it against Pollard because he has been brutal with the spinners. Well, you're talking about this, these conditions being uh, brutal in terms of just, you know, being so bad and friendly. But one thing that's worked for Koita, you know, Koki, is the spin duo that they have. Akil Hossein and Abra Ahmed. Abra Ahmed taking so many wickets. They've just managed to slow the whole game down uh, for the opposition by taking wickets and being so economical. Yeah, uh, and I think if you've got spinners who can do two jobs, and when I say two jobs, it's a specialised job to bowl in the power play. Uh, and that's something that you've seen uh, through Akil Hussain do. Abrar, who has been a revelation, because if you'd have, if you'd have said that Abrar Ahmed would be a force in T20, maybe a couple of years ago, you'd have said perhaps not. What he's done, he's been able to actually probably get a little bit smarter as a bowler to understand what is needed. Um, and I think when you've got two spinners that they've got that can put these batters under pressure, um, that's exactly what you need to go forward into the competitions. That, let's face it, the Gladiators are a good side and they have all bases covered and to be able to bring in Mohamed Amir and his name back into your side, two good bowlers, um, it's going to be a big ask for the Kings today. Shan Masood also perhaps needs to step up but just in terms of he's not had the best of the HPL PSL so far, Sana. Uh, this has been the, the lowest average that he has uh, been able to uh, bat. Where he, when we saw him in Multan Sultan, he was brilliant. But this time when you see him, his average has gone down. It's not, has, we have seen, it's not been easy to basically um, captain Karachi Kings for anyone. Yeah, it hasn't been. We've seen him do better in the previous seasons, but this year has been a bit of a struggle for him. So it would require, for sure, uh, for him to step up. Remember, it is a double header here in Pindi. We've got a uh, crowd building up uh, nicely. Of course, it's the day game. We'll be probably be seeing more people come in later on in the evening. Two fantastic games lined up for you on the other side. Don't go anywhere.